I think that uh, the nice thing about this is it can be used in a, in a variety of different ways. It's different than what we've seen before. Um, as this completely dissolves, it's going through a 30 gauge needle is great. I think you know it, it, the proof is going to be in the pudding. Unfortunately, it's going to we're going to have to see if we can reduce the incidence of glaucoma and can we reduce the incidence of cataract. It's still a glucocorticoid, and they have that even at low doses. So it may take two years to get it versus you know six months or nine months. But um, I think that the company has some great technology that I hope they'll bring forward for other conditions. Yeah, I agree. I think it's really cool stuff. Um, what, 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 just so everybody knows, what I've asked the panelists to do is, to, is uh, I've assigned a very brief discussion to each of them. Uh, this is going to be really fast and furious, so forgive the pace of this. The next one, uh, next talk is going to be by Dr. Linda Lamb. And uh, Linda, why don't you go ahead? Good morning. Today I'll discuss Oculens augmented reality headset for macular degeneration. And I am a, uh, I do work at USC, but I'm the chief strategy and scientific officer for Occutrex. And I serve as a consultant. So what is the difference between virtual and augmented reality? So virtual reality recreates real life environment. It's an immersive experience for a simulated reality, whereas AR overlays computer generated graphics and animation on top of real world situations. So you actually keep your peripheral vision when you have the AR device on. So VR wearables for AMD magnified, there's facial recognition, but you really can't walk around and be able to function with this device on. How are we different? Well, this is the device right here in my hand. It weighs less than 200 grams, it weighs less than your cell phone. And it's a, the first AR headset developed for AMD specifically. It has an onboard visual field test, computer mediated reality, integrated eye tracking, and enables sight in, in the vision, the area of vision that was previously missing. It weighs less than 200 grams, it's binocular. It is the fastest at frames, uh, 200 frames per second. The resolution is 60 pixels per degree, similar to your fovea, and magnifies up to tenfold and widest field of view. So prior to Oculens, the other devices only magnified the image, which reduced the field of vision, did not uh, allow for peripheral vision. So how does this work? Video from 4K cameras uh, create a digital map of patient's environment stored in the processor, the software identifies the patient's non-sighted area and buffers the streaming video, and the pixels in the circle are moved into adjacent areas of retina that can still see, and the buffered video creates a hybrid image which is projected on the device. And so the patient does not see this uh, blind area, this slit between the R and the E. So with this device, Oculens, the visual information is presented even in the presence of the dark spot blind spot. And with the eye tracking, all these are in alignment, the eyes, the scotoma, and the modified streaming video. Infrared lights illuminate the iris, and eye tracking cameras um, are in the nose piece. We have integrated calibration tools, which has static and dynamic testing. When the patient puts on this device in the morning, they go through two tests. Um, it takes about five minutes per eye. Um, this is the static protocol looking at blinking pixels. And then the, the dynamic protocol has a radiating lines, and this further de defines the digital edge of the scotoma. We have five patients in an initial study with a mean age of 68. And this patient, before using the device, was seeing about 20 200, and just after one session with the device was able to see 2080. And this is without any magnification and also without any eye tracking. <coughs> so I can show you what example of what the calibration looks like. Um, so the green dots are the areas that the patient could see, and the red dots are the areas that the patient could not see. The hatch dots mean uh, these are the dynamic tests, and the uh, solid dots are the static testing. And you can see the scotoma marker that's made by this device. So how did the patients do? Well, they improved four to five lines of Snellen vision just at the first session after wearing the device for 10, 15 minutes. And so they improved from less than 2200 to 2063. And all subjects improved vision while reading the eye chart, paragraphs, and recognizing familiar faces. R mm -hmm. H S D D. Oh, that's great. K. Keep mm -hmm. on going. Don't stop now. D. Wow. O. Yep. Great job. Great job. Keep on going. B. Yes. H. Yes. All right. Look at this. 
So this patient has not been able to read and was not able to really read anything on the eye chart until he put on this device. And this device had no magnification on it and had not no eye tracking. There you are. And he had not been able to see his wife's face. Yeah, I see you plain as day. So what are the features of OculLens? It's lightweight, less than your cell phone, less than 200 grams. It's the uh, widest field of view at 117 degrees, highest resolution. It has voice command, voice control, eye tracking. And there are features I would like to highlight. There's SLAM, simultaneous localization and mapping. It's an object-based recognition software that has about seven and a half million objects in this database. So for example, if my patient had macular degeneration and glaucoma, the patient doesn't have good peripheral vision and this device actually recognizes everything in their space and can tell them there's a curb at two feet, there's a chair at four feet. And then also what I like as a clinician, um, it has scotoma monitoring. So when the patient puts it on in the morning, it, it, because of AI, per, the algorithm, it tells the patient, we know what the scotoma looked like yesterday, and if the scotoma changed the next day, it will tell my office that the scotoma has changed. So OculLens is unique. It has eye tracking and scotoma detection. There's scotoma monitoring, customization, and object recognition. I just want to give a um, shout out that there's, we have a booth at AAO 6464 where you can try the device on for AMD, but we've also developed an AR device for surgery. Thank you. Thank you. Very cool. And, and the device is right there, by the way, if you want to see it. I've, I've tried it. It's, it's, it's really cool. Um, Chris, quick, yeah, quick word. Thank you, Linda. Super exciting technology. I think as we've seen over the last kind of decade, we've really moved from purely virtual reality for training cataract surgery. We're using that in, our, in, the, in the Genentech port delivery system arena for training. And then I think this is, this is really exciting because it's going to combine potentially the ability to motivate patients to wear it because it gives them a benefit. And I love the way that it's measuring the scotoma or potentially measuring the scotoma so you can get data out of there in terms of prog disease progression. And I think the potential for that is just going to be really enormous in terms of long-term big data capture for how these patients are reprogressing. Really Great. Thanks, Chris. And, and it's certainly all of these people are going to be outside for you to talk to. And, and please go ahead and talk to them. Thank you.